Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gaspark. Uh, sorry for the slight delay in video today. It's been very crazy on my end. Uh, video might be a little shorter too, but patch 6 is out. Uh, I do recommend running a file integrity when it is done because I did have a problem with the uh, installation on my Steam Deck. Uh, but I would still just recommend it. Uh, so far, patch 6 seems to be running very smooth. I've been noticing... Lots of nice little improvements. I know they changed the bartering screen again. <laughs> I'm not sure why they keep updating that one so much. Uh, we can also check camp's inventory. Uh, pretty cool. I don't know if that's always been a thing, but pretty cool. Yeah, let's uh, jump into it and see what is happening. Uh, we had a nice little moment with Gale. Uh, very nice in my opinion, but we can carry on. Uh, head out now that we're all rested up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why there's an earthquake. I like Gale have. Go for it, Gale. Looking ahead. Um, so far I honestly have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of just going over here, just going. Exit might be. Oh, is this an elevator? Where does this go? I've never noticed an elevator bef before. Have I? With haste. No, I've I know. I think I've done this elevator before. I am a little curious to see where it goes. I don't remember. I'm not gonna lie. There's entering mercenaries and cutthroats. Useful friends, if you can afford them. Ooh. Okay. Um. Left the pad around right here. Something good here. I hope. Got some chest here for you to open a sty in. Oh, I'm actually genuinely kind of curious if I could just smash this open. Hmm. Sorry, in. Yeah, or not. In the Shadow Hearts. Oh, I need you to whack this thing. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do any damage to it. Nope. Well, nope. I guess we're doing this the good old fashioned way. Uh, I don't think it's too hard. Wow, good thing I am proficient with this. I rolled basically bare minimum and still made it somehow. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. It's quite worth the uh over here. I know there's a chest back that way to open, but I think go over here real quick and uh get stuff. Apparently now you can get drunk in uh camps now, which is uh pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Nifty, nifty. Huh? Did I know chunks? Ooh. Uh, Gale. 
wrong. Oh, no. Go for it, bud. Okay, let's explore. What a day. Don't linger. So far, so good. Let's open this chest. Is it hardly a challenge? It really kind of is hardly a challenge. Wow, I went from a 10 to a 22. Nice. What did we get? Nothing too crazy. Um. No time to rest. I'm gonna give that to my guy. Walk in death. Elevator. I am curious to see where this elevator takes us. Um. Oh, I have the magic touch. There you go, Starion. Um, I am curious to see where this elevator takes me. For some reason, I cannot remember where this elevator plops me out at. Um, I know I'm not done down here yet. Lovely motivation. Traps. How considerate. Where do you see a trap? Oh, right there. I was very confused. Where did you see a trap at? Cause I sure didn't. My faith will guide me. Uh. All right, let's open up this bad boy. Yeah, these have all been pretty, pretty easy. Thirty twenty. Uh, not sure their weight or worth their uh, weight for the t the thing, but sure. Uh, let's go disarm this. This is gonna be worth something. Uh, disarming. Nice. The money. Of course, it's locked. I rolls. Uh, uh, you know, I'll take it. Um, no, I'm not gonna lie. I do not know if I. I don't know if Gale knows those, but. Uh, confirm. I have. Okay, I'm curious to see where this goes. I'm gonna save in case I need to go back. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Huh. Fascinating. Oh, well, I guess let's head back. Three, I'm red. I'm very curious um, where I need to be going. I am not sure. Uh, 
head out. Um. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna head down. But I guess I will. <laughs> Something over there. Oh, I'm not expecting to find that. on my mind and well in it these boots have seen everything oh no i know what's about to happen i don't think everybody else does what now uh you think they're a star Timid. The spores confuse the senses. Not sure what the other mushrooms are. Uh, very, very bad. That's interrupted. What? Everything here is trying to freaking kill you. Problem. Oh! Oh, it's the microwave people! Oh, I found the microwave people! Accident! What? Timask. The spores confuse the senses. I'm not sure what the other mushrooms are. Timask and torch stalks. Kind of a combination. Yeah, it did be that way. Why do 
I feel like I remember there being a fight here. Yeah, bro. You were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. You know, I really was not expecting to run into the Mushroom People this episode, or this fast. I remember it took me ages to find Mushroom People. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Yes, I'm ready. All is ash and meat. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. I think I have one. Um. Um. Hey, go ahead and just take that one. Thank you. <sighs> Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it much like a musician or a poet such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself the lady of mysteries the goddess mistra she revealed herself to me and she became my teacher in time she became my muse and later even my lover Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. 
Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. to convince her. I pouted, I pleaded, swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Oh, well, we might as well hear out how it all happened. I mean, I kind of remember, but I got to use a refresher. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was... phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. And to fix it. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Aren't those the same stones that the um, three baddies are using, the three murderers, or the three evil are using to control the brain? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pulses its teeth. Its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? <laughs> I love the star here. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. I like how you can tell my fake eye. <laughs> this netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. I will erupt. I don't know the 
exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner we might cross paths with a miracle round the bend then again we might not all of this it must feel like a betrayal say the word and we'll part ways Yeah, I mean, we come this far. I have no need. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. That's my boy. Okay, guys. I'm going to end that episode here. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Help us give future content. And until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. See y'all.